Hello, and thanks for joining me. I really appreciate it. Today, I'd like to talk about this gentleman here who is going through some real hardships. Um, he has had to take leave from work for back surgery. And it's ended up he has to go in for a second time today. Now, the company that he works for uses Sedgwick Crisis Management, which according to their website, they take care of people. And yet, they are giving him a major runaround. It's, you know, these large companies, they, they really take advantage of people. I have heard, I heard a horror story from another person that worked for Walmart and tried to get things covered when her, her parents got sick. You know, people feel helpless, but there is something that, you know, that we can do. Unfortunately, I can't really, all I can do is share this and bring some attention to it as best I can. Um, I have tweeted it. I have put it on Facebook. Um, his friend, who is a very good friend of mine, has been tweeting it all over and tagging some big content creators, all of whom are ignoring her. It's, it's just, it's really sad. I mean, in my own family, my husband has been laid off multiple times. You know, everything has been difficult since COVID. And I think this is true for thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands of people across the country. But we can help each other. So I will share a link to this GoFundMe. And if you could share it out, that would be highly, highly appreciated. Because the more eyes we get on this, the more likelihood we have of, you know, at really, truly helping somebody out. Now, there's another person, actually, before I go into that, let me just do a little, um, here's another GoFundMe. Uh, this is a young man that supposedly set himself on fire um, in 2018, and the family is really just looking for answers. That is all. Um, the county that this happened in, you know, law enforcement is, they're dragging their feet. They're not giving them answers. They really just want to pay for an independent investigation into what actually occurred. So, you know, if you're sort of a justice warrior, true crime junkie, whatever, uh, this, this I think is a really good, uh, a worthy cause. Uh, there's also a change.org petition that's getting really close. Uh, to the first 50,000 sign your 50,000 supporters signatures. There we go. Signatures. I need to finish my coffee. Anyway. So, as a contrast, let's take a peek at this one. Now, you may know, I'm sure you've noticed, that I am not Andy Signor's greatest fan, or biggest fan, or whatever. 
I was a part of his community. I was, I was part of his headlines group. That's the people that actually do the research for him so he can read the headlines on his daily show. Um, I was a mod for a short period of time. I paid to be a member of his channel. Uh, and I and a few of my fellow mods and some other people got treated badly. Well, yeah, we did get treated badly, but it was most just that he doesn't actually care about the members of, quote, his community. And yet they keep throwing money at him because he keeps begging for it. You know, whether it's a, you know, um, if you really want to piss Amber Heard off, you know, give me money. If you really want to piss off NBC, give me money. And now here, uh, you know, he, memberships are five ninety nine a month. He has 666,000 members. And trust me, the 666 number is not lost on me. At the very least, and I did the math, 1% of his followers as members at, at the lowest tier. You take out 40% for YouTube. That is $15,000 a month he's making. And that's not including ad revenue, um, super chats. Uh, and then he really pushes his cash app and his PayPal so you can donate outside of YouTube. So less of a percentage is taken off more of it goes into his pocket. I I mean he just he doesn't he doesn't really need it. I don't care what he's told you. And that just seems so obvious to me. I don't understand. I don't understand how people fall for this. So you decide. Oh wait. And we called him out for it, and this is what he said. Hang on, I need to, uh... Yep, we called him out for it. This woman is upset because she never got paid for work she agreed to volunteer for. It's all about the money for her. That is so ironic. <laughs> they spread rumors about me just because they hate me. On my last video, I said... I don't hate you, Andy. I don't hate anybody. I I want to spread awareness. That's all. Just awareness. Understand what you're signing up for. Understand who you're donating to. Think about whether it's a worthy cause or not. Because no matter what, he's still going to do his daily shows. He's still going to say, you know, if you get in headlines, if you help me out here, you know, I might be able to pay you at some point. And yes, he did. He did offer it. Uh, some. He he did it. He said it more strongly than others. He offered one woman what could be a paid internship that he never followed through on. See, his follow through is is just awful. So then blocked her negativity from our group. I wasn't blocked. I left. Uh, if he's talking about another mod that I'm thinking of, she left too. We didn't get blocked. I mean, people are like, oh, but he says the truth. No, he manipulates the truth. And here it is right here. So, you have to think about this. Which cause is more worthy? This sweet man here who's really struggling or this doofus over here that just wants to get a new equipment for his new studio and his new house that uh, that his um, that his followers pay for have paid for oh his subscribers there that's the word I'm looking for oh geez yep all of those 666,000 subscribers. 
who knows how many members and at what tier. I mean, honestly, I, I just find it completely disgusting. So, is this a worthy cause? No, I don't think so. Just say no. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day. Much peace and love to you all.